All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, day 237 at 24 Hour Fitness. So today was a horrible day, horrible day. So if you watched the other video, you knew how much I was jonesing for just a total carb today. So today is, I don't know, day five, six. I, I lost count of the days where I'm actually consciously trying to avoid you know, all these like unwanted carbs, like the, the unnecessary ones, you know, like going to ice cream or get a Coke or stuff. But today I was super needing it. So I'm, I'm at home. I knew that once I left my place, I was going straight to McDonald's. I was going to like the liquor store. I was going to fill up with my car with gas so I could figure out how I could get, Hey, what's going on, man? So how's it going? Pretty good. So, all right, here we go. Uh, Ma, Ma, Malik, no, Khalil, Khalil. Malik was one of my former students that played at uh, football at uh, Cincinnati. Khalil is a wrestler, the um, collegiate wrestler. So look how super in shape he is, and he remembers my name after all this time. Hey, so I, uh, um, oh, there's no towels. No, okay, whatever. Yeah, so I got down to 268, so 42 pounds since January. Yeah, 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 right. So I feel pretty good, but then today I'm telling my story that like I'm consciously not trying to go get a Coke. Oh, you know what? I I, I went from 270 to 269, so I'm gonna like go get a hamburger. I'm gonna go like like a gnarly cheat day, right? But then it's like my fifth or sixth day without eating carbs, like intentionally, right? But oh man, I know, right? So today I woke up. I'm like, okay, I could do this. I'm eating my mom's like stew that she made for me. You know, this meats and vegetables. I'm drinking like tons of water. I probably drank like 10 pounds of water today, but still my mouth is like, oh gosh, I, I, I no, 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 I mean, it's like, you know, when you're fat you this it. long, you want chocolate, you want like an ice cream or even, even a Gatorade, you know what I mean? But thing is, it's like, so that's why I couldn't come. I knew as soon as I got out of my, in my car, I drive straight to rallies, I drive whatever, but then I got over it, now I'm here. So awesome. So I'm good, right? Yeah, you're good. There's no towels? No, no, no. Uh, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no uh, okay. Is there like one? Or no? No, but you're small. It doesn't really matter. Oh, ah, thanks. Okay, I'll take this one. Thanks. I'll get, I'll get another one later. All right, thanks, man. All right. Khalil, right there. Okay, so that's weird. That was the first time I ever did the nonstop. Uh, uh, <sighs> coming in here so okay so now yes I just told you my intro story and then that's how I feel so now I'm here and I'm gonna sweat like crazy because what happened is too it's like I don't like going to the gym when I feel like I have to use the restroom right some of you guys I think could sympathize that you go oh, well that restrooms at the gym why don't you just go there when you have to go no I don't want to do that because I only want to go restroom at the gym if it's like a sheer emergency I mean, you know, I love 24-hour fitness and stuff, but sometimes the bathrooms are not clean 24 hours, right? And so I don't want it to be the freak day where I'm like doing my thing, I need to go, oh, emergency, go to the bathroom, and then I have to spend like five minutes cleaning in there. So that's that. And yeah, did it take me this long to go to the bathroom? Totally. Because the thing is, I was eating that stuff throughout the day, and for some of you veggie people, you know that the the vegetables just add up in your body, and all of a sudden, just all of a sudden, you just want to come out. Anyways, mine didn't. Okay, let me switch in. Okay, here we go. Back home. Now, um, what is it? Okay, this is gonna trip you out right now. Two seventy eight. Two seventy eight. Okay. Now, there, there is good explanation for this, and I will explain it to you in Okay, there we go. Explain it to you in three, two, one. Okay, so yesterday, you saw me, I put in 269. 269 I weighed yesterday, after the workout stuff, I actually hit 267.8 and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, 267.8, 268, whatever, right? And then so, you know, I'm being careful, I go hang with my friend, 
go eat some sushi, and instead of having rice in there, I eat salad. I ate a little bit of rice, but it, it was not that bad. And then so, you know, I wake up today, weighing 270. Okay, cool, I'll go to the bathroom, I'll go to the gym, whatever, right? And all of a sudden that stuff happened where I'm like, gosh, I wanna, you know, I mean, today's craving was ridiculous. I mean, I, I was, I don't like doing rant videos, but then I did one about how much I just wanted a, car, uh, a carb, right? And then so, you know, realizing that every water bottle, 16 ounce water bottle is a pound, I, I drank literally about 10 pounds of water today. Well, not to mention all the, the soup I was eating, and then with the vegetables inside. So, I mean the solid foods I ate today probably added up to maybe two pounds, but then the rest was just water. And yeah, I was peeing here, peeing there, peeing everywhere, right? And then so, when I left the house today at 278, I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, I remember there are times, this is why you're not supposed to weigh yourself. Because of fluctuations like these, it just blows your mind. I remember when I was younger, I helped Stu's best friend, Paul, move. And so Paul, his family, owns like one of the greatest pizza chains ever. It's called Angelina's. But there's like a lot of different ones there were, but the one that we still go to is the one in uh, Cerritos. But I remember that time we are moving, and it's like, oh, yeah, eat all the pizza you want. We got pizza, 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 pizza. I mean, this is not like your thin cardboard $5 pizzas. These are like gourmet freaking pizzas. So I was eating it like crazy. And I think we had chicken wings, soda, all that stuff. Anyways, that day, I think I gained 12 pounds. 12 pounds. I mean, this isn't water weight either. It was 12 pounds of freaking pizza and chicken. And did I regret it? No way. It was one of the greatest eating days ever, right? Yeah, the next day you poo like eight pounds off, but the thing is it was, it was one of the most fascinating days. But yeah, today is weird though, because yes, I'm older. Majority of it was water, but you know, I mean, okay. I had these, I was telling Stu on the phone that I found these granola bars. I mean, when you're starving for something and you clean out your, you need to make sure there's nothing you could eat that you could cheat at your house. I'm looking at this stuff and all of a sudden I saw this like five year old box of granola bars. I'm like, oh. okay, I remember the Dodger, Dodger dog that was like two months old and it was like a rock. But this one, okay. Let's see what it is. I open it. And the packages still feel fresh and everything. I squeeze one and it's super soft. I open it. No gnarly smell, but I figure, okay, granola, it's just like oats and stuff. Maybe the raisins, but raisins are dried grapes. So, you know, those are, I guess, supposed to be like that. So I ate it. So I figure, okay. You know what? If I get sick off these, I get diarrhea, hey. Constipation solved, right? But other than that, I mean, it gave me enough sweet, even though, yes, it was a raisin carbon. I think they have honey on it. You know the brown box at Costco? I mean, if you guys go to Costco, you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, so I ate that. Like, throughout the course of the day, I think I ate three. So I have no idea what the calorie count is. But I ate sandwich meat. So my sodium count today, probably through the roof, you know? So that's why I'm gonna have to do like a massive day today because uh, it was rough, it was a rough day. But here, I'm on the bike, I'm gonna sweat like crazy, I'm gonna play games with Stu and uh, get through this. Maybe I'll even be motivated to even lift weights, who knows? But the thing is, I'm glad I'm just not home watching TV and thinking about eating. Because the thing is, habits die hard. You know, when you go to the movies, you want to eat popcorn, or you go and sit at home, you're eating in front of the TV, this, eating here, eating here, long drive, eat there, eat there, you know? So those are the habits I'm trying to kick. And, uh, yeah, 
I mean, if you ever had a habit for anything, it's really difficult to cut it out. So anyways, that's that. Now, the habit I'm not gonna cut is uh, video games. So, I'll see you later. All right, there we go, that's one. Okay, so that's first round, a little bit right there. This was just my head sweat, right there. So, yeah, um, that wasn't too bad. That was actually a fast 10 and then super easy. Thanks, dude. So, um, yeah, get ready for round two. I'm still upset at that 278. But you know what, what can you do? What can you do? 278, 60. What can you do except cry about it? For BDS. There we go, round two's over. Okay, so those two weren't that bad. Sweat, not that much up here. But uh, um, yeah, maybe it's all that food I ate today. Who knows, round three, let's go for it. Round three. And yes, I'm still upset. 278. Let's see what happens as the week progresses. Big Daddy Shin wasn't built in a day. Yes? Alright, round three. Let's go for it. Three. I can't do this. Alright, there we go. Round three. Oh, done. Alright, time for water, right? Okay, now, one day I'm gonna have to measure out how many ounces is a gulp. Like, you know, just fill the water bottle, see how many seconds. So, I'd be crazy if after every session I gain a pound of water. I sweat off half a pound and I gain water. I mean, it's no big deal. I mean, it all balances out in the end, but it's just, one of those things you think about when you've been doing this for two and a half hours. 50, 50, 50, 150, yeah, two and a half hours. So I'm gonna do my fourth one because I feel pretty good. No, I don't, but yeah, four. Oh, wow, look at that, I didn't, it didn't feel like I was sweating. But this is what... Oh, wow! That's amazing. Wow. That is some sweat on there. I didn't realize how awesome my head looks until I like, look at this video. I mean, not that I have an awesome shaped head or anything, but what happens is my skin and then the moisture, it's right there. But I have eye boogers. All right, here we go. Round four. So, you know, it's weird. I'm not sweating as much today I mean I am sweating but not as much I'm wondering if it's because of all the salt from the uh, the sandwich meat when I just ate the sandwich meat I don't know I sweat dried off it's been a while so let's figure out should I do this other one I mean I've been here for almost three hours so like, so but yeah, just Labor Day, day off, sleep in, see what happens. All right, there we go. Four. There we go, day 237 in the books. I'll see you later. And then so, uh, um, yeah, I did 40 miles 
Now, here's the thing that sucks about it. So I did it, and I got sweat, but I didn't get, like, the sweat sweat like I normally would get. You know what I mean? But I still feel pretty good. I mean, like, I have a lot of energy. I should probably go in there, turn around, just just do some weightlifting or whatever I can. And uh, we're in the, oh, my car. Wait, wait, wait. Where did I park my car today? Ah, oh, okay, over there. I'm like, gosh, you know, I'm, there's only like four cars out here, and then one of them's mine, and then I can't even see it. But anyways, yes, so we'll see what happens on that big turnaround day. Yeah, I didn't give in, no chocolate, no nothing like that. Well, yeah, the granola bars, okay? But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's quite a trek. I mean, today, now, I'm going to go home. Uh, drink some water, more water, and then uh, go to sleep. And then I will get at least eight hours, maybe ten. Who knows? Oh, I'd never get ten. You just like eight, maybe six. But I mean, I, I'd love to get eight. That'd be that'd be amazing. But uh, you know, just do that, and then start again tomorrow and figure things out, right? Eat uh, eat more of some mom stew, and then. Uh, Go see mom and Stu. <laughs> so we'll see. Because tomorrow's Labor Day and it's just like my Sunday. Yes. So, you know, I, that's what it is. Maybe clean the place a little. But, uh, yeah, I feel, I feel pretty good on this weekend. So I just have one more day and then I'm back to normal. I'm just going to work. And then, you know, eat after school and then go to the gym and exercise and stuff. But be right back to normal. But it's just, you know, when, it, when those times are just staying, you know, maybe I should just work on my website. Yeah, because, you know, I, I realized that there's a way you can organize all your videos on your website. I don't know how to do it yet. I'll figure it out. But anyways, yes, I, I'm... Hopefully everything will be back to normal weight wise in like a day or two. But we'll see how, how much you could go put your body out of whack. I mean, you know, when you when you put on that poundage in one day, it's like, oh man, what am I gonna do? So hopefully maybe tomorrow, I mean some freak of nature or whatever, and all of a sudden, you know, but I, I don't I, I I highly doubt it. But remember, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We I mean we're trying this whole thing. I'm doing my best to go little to no carbs just to see what happens, see what happens to your body, you know? I mean, I feel like I have some pretty good energy, but, you know, it's just that willpower. And so if I can get back, get through today, you know, no no Dodger win, USC win, UCLA win. I mean, there is a Dodger win, though. That was great. But uh, now they're first place. But uh, we'll see. Anyways, Big Daddy Shen, day 237. If I could exercise 237 days in a row, you could exercise 237 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you could do it. And I am doing it. And there is a chance I'm going to get in the 250-somethings in by two, day 250. 13 days. Well, 12 more after this. So, you know, if I get down to like 268 again and then, you know, by by day 240 then I'll have 10 days to lose like eight pounds I think I could do that that's that's not hard at all but losing till 250 yeah that's a little bit hard considering I was 278 sometime today right but uh, we'll see anyways I will see you next time